Hi my dear kids, welcome to grade 1 maths class. Okay, today we are going to learn a new chapter, chapter number 7, measurement. First we have to learn how can we compare two objects according to the length. Yeah, we know that. Listen to my hand. Yeah, I have two pencils, one brown pencil and also one pink pencil. Can you tell me which one is longer? Yes, the brown pencil is longer than the red pencil, the pink pencil. Okay, the brown pencil is longer than the pink pencil. And also vice versa, the pink pencil is shorter than the brown pencil. Okay, then do you understand what you meant by longer and shorter? Yeah, we are comparing the objects according to their size, according to their length. Okay, then compare these two objects. Here I have a red ink pen and a sharpener. Tell me which one is shorter? Yes. This sharpener is shorter than the pen. Okay, then which one is longer? Yes, very good. The red pen is longer than the sharpener. Right, yeah, then we have learned longer and shorter. Okay, then one more thing, the next one is, yeah, taller and shorter. Yeah, listen, yeah, listen the length, listen the height of me and you. Yeah, who is taller? Can you tell me who is taller? Me or you? Yes, I am taller compared to you, right? Yeah, I am taller than you. Yes, then who is shorter? Yes, you are shorter compared to me, right? Yes, then we have learned taller and also shorter. You just think an giraffe and a dog. Who is taller? Yes, giraffe is taller than the dog. And who is shorter? Dog is shorter than the giraffe. Okay, listen. Take your textbook page number 93. Yeah, they had given the questions like tick the longer objects and also tick the shorter objects. Can you do that? So simple. Okay, you have to tick. If they have said tick the longer one, you just compare the objects and tick the longer one. And also they had given the question like tick the shorter one. Okay, you have to tick the shorter object. It's clear. Then move to the next page that is page number 94. Okay, here we have to compare more than two objects. Then we are using the superlative forms of longer that is longest superlative form of Long, that is longest. While we are comparing more than two objects, we are using which one is the longest. Okay, listen. If you are comparing the length of, yeah, listen these objects. Yeah. Listen, dears, listen these objects. A sharpener, a pencil and also one brown pencil. Can you tell me which one is the shortest? Yeah, shortest. Yes, that is the pencil. Pencil is sh the shortest. Okay, then which one is the longest? Yes, which one is the longest one? Yes, we know that the brown pencil is the longest one. Okay, clear. Then look your textbook page number 94. Look your textbook page number 94. Yes, here are the questions like tick the longest one. Then you have to tick the longest one. Compare the objects and tick the longest one. And the next question like 
tick the shortest one yeah you just compare that sticks and which one is the shortest okay then you have to tick the shortest one clear yes then the next one is comparing the objects according to their height that is same as length okay yes height that is according to the height taller and shorter okay take page number 95 and listen here yeah tick the taller one first you have to come here they had given a bird and an ostrich okay yeah you have to tick which one is the taller one yes ostrich is the taller one okay then a cow and a calf can you tell me which one is the taller yes cow is taller than calf okay yes then the next question like tick the shorter a puppy and a dog we know that puppy is shorter than dog right puppy is shorter than the dog then tick that puppy then the next one is yeah a tree and a plant we know that which one is shorter yes plant is shorter okay. also they had given three objects and we have to tick tick the tallest object look to page number 96 listen page number 96 tick the tallest one yeah which one is the tallest bird yeah the second one right yeah the ostrich you have to tick that ostrich okay that is the tallest one then the next one is tick the shortest yeah we know that which joker is the shortest first second or third yes the first one is the shortest joker then you have to take that shortest joker okay then next one is how can we compare the objects according to the size that means yeah according to the thickness thicker and thinner okay listen yeah take your maths textbook and workbook yeah tell me which one is thicker thicker means yeah that contains a lot of pages right yeah the textbook contains a lot of pages that is one is that one we call it as thicker okay yeah compare the textbook and workbook can you tell me which one is thicker yes we know that our textbook is thicker than our workbook right then compare a workbook and a sheet of paper which one is thicker yes which one is thicker yeah our workbook is thicker than this paper right then which one is thinner yeah this paper is thinner than workbook okay yeah that is thicker and thinner then take page number thicker. tick the thicker and tick the thinner yeah you just compare the objects and you have to tick the thicker one and also the second question tick the thinner one can you do this yes i know you all are good children okay yes then move to the next page that is page number 98 there also they had given three objects yeah i have told you if we are if they had given three objects that is more than two objects yeah we are using the superlative forms that is thickest and thinnest okay yeah tick the thickest pencil page number 98 tick the thickest pencil yeah thickest means yes 
thickest one tick the thickest pencil compare the three pencils and tick the thickest one only and the next one is tick the thinnest one that is tick the thinnest brush okay yes have you finished yes good then the next one is we are comparing the objects according to the weight okay next we are going to compare the objects according to the weight okay listen take two objects your pencil take your pencil and your notebook in your hands yeah take pencil and your notebook in your hands yeah you just compare the weight of objects which one is heavy yeah we know that which one is heavy yeah uh, our notebook is heavier than the pencil right our notebook is heavier than the pencil okay then take your textbook and notebook in your hands yeah take your textbook and notebook yeah we know that which one is lighter yes notebook is lighter than the textbook okay notebook is lighter than the textbook here we are comparing the objects according to the weight okay yes then listen to your textbook page number 99 yeah listen to the objects yeah they had given a watermelon and a papaya can you tell me which one is lighter yes papaya is lighter than the watermelon the next question tick the heavier okay you have just compared the weight of objects and tick the heavier one okay yes then move to the next page yeah here they had given three objects and you have to tick the heaviest one and also the lightest one heaviest one and also the lightest object okay compare the objects and you have to tick according to the instruction they had given okay so in the past the people were using our body parts to measure the length of objects yeah listen next we have to learn how can we measure the length of objects nowadays we are using tap and scale to measure the length of objects is it yes then which are the body parts we are using to measure the length of objects yeah we are using our hands okay our hands and our feet okay listen hand span we are using hand spans to measure the length of objects listen listen to this pencil <coughs> how many hand spans yes we know that one hand span the length of the pencil is one hand span then what do you mean by hand span yeah hand span is the distance between the tip of the thumb to the tip of the little finger okay this is my hand span hand span is the distance from the tip of the thumb to the tip of the little finger of a stretched hand okay yes then how can we measure the length of the textbook using your hand span listen dears yes how many hand spans yeah we know that nearest two that is one and a half hand spans okay now try to measure the length of your study table your book your pencil etc okay then and also you have to trace your hands hand span in your textbook page number 101 okay yes hand span means the distance from the tip of the thumb to the tip of the little finger of a stretched hand okay clear then the next one is feet yeah what do you mean by feet feet is the distance from the toe to the heel okay yeah then where we use feet to measure objects yes we are using our to measure our playground and our courtyard etc yeah 
try to measure the length of your courtyard using feet. Okay, it's clear to everyone? Okay, thank you.